Wow, this microphone is really pulling my shirt down. Okay. How's this? Oh, I think it's beautiful. Hello guys and welcome to this uh, video. Uh, a, a different uh, layout uh, today. I think it's beautiful because I'm just sitting in front of uh, the window and even though it is a very gray and rainy day, I'm just enjoying a cup of coffee at home. Have my fresh flowers. Let me have my best seat. Let's stop up the lipstick and we're gonna start this video. So today I'm wearing my mm, Blush Trim Slip Oil from Summer Fridays and I'm just gonna top it up with my uh, YSL super old lipstick. I just uh, discovered it the other day when I was uh, cleaning some um, makeup uh, bags. I also, oopsie, I also need my notes. So what do I have in store for uh, you and myself uh, today? A different kind of roundup um, video uh, with some pieces that I have selected from a brand that I've never shopped, I know of, I have tried on some uh, clothes a couple of months ago actually, uh, which is Arquette. I'm not sure if Arquette shops can be found all over uh, the world. Uh, I hope so because I really like their clothes, the style, their aesthetic, uh, the quality of the items. It's very similar, I would say, to Kos. Um, but I think that Arquette's price point is a little bit higher. So if any of you have purchased from this brand, let me know your thoughts on the quality and whether you feel that whatever you have purchased is good value for money. So for the purpose of the, this video, um, I browsed the website um, and I was really tempted to make my first purchases, but I wanted to put this video together, uh, hear some thoughts uh, from uh, you and take it uh, from there. So I've browsed the website and I've selected, if I'm not wrong, 15 pieces, what is going on, uh, from their current collection, spring summer collection, that uh, I think are beautiful and perfect for anyone who is like me curating a capsule wardrobe with staples, essentials, basic pieces that can last the test of time uh, on a very neutral kind of um, color palette. And uh, the important thing is for uh, my wardrobe at least to have items that are so easy to mix and match um, and help me create beautiful and most importantly comfortable outfits in a sec. So let's start with the very first uh, item uh, is this beautiful uh, pair of linen trousers. I think they had a couple of options but I really like the drawstring detail because I feel that it is super super comfortable. I have purchased two pairs of drawstring um, uh, linen trousers from an Australian brand while I was down under on a holiday. I've already been wearing my black ones and they are just so easy to wear. Um, they feel so comfortable, so airy and breezy. I just love the, the vibe so much. Next up, crew neck t-shirt. This is giving me, I mean, capsule wardrobe uh, vibes uh, 100%. Uh, everyone needs a t-shirt like this in their wardrobe. I purchased mine from COS. Uh, I think this is the Arquette's equivalent of my white tee. I love that the crew neck is high up. I love a high up uh, crew neck when I just want to cover this um, area completely and especially if I'm wearing a sweater uh, and I want, you know, the t-shirt to show a little bit. Price point, I believe it's the same as uh, cost, so tick. And of course I have uh, the option of a, a t-shirt that it is heavier. I love that this uh, option um, in our care has a boxy feel and fit. Um, I'm all about comfort when it comes to uh, clothing. I mean, as a person, I have my days where I want something to be super, super comfortable. And then there are the days that I might wear something that is 
slightly more fitted, more elegant, but there are a lot of days that I just choose comfort because that's how I like it, that's how I feel. And I like the boxiness of this uh, t-shirt and it's all about what size you will choose and I will always like to size up a little bit in pieces uh, like that. So the next uh, item, actually I don't own a piece of clothing like this in my wardrobe, but I really liked, of course, the color and the length. It's that short trench coat, uh, color-wise uh, check. I love that it has this little detail here and I loved the length. Because when it comes to trench coats, I have to say that I like the long version um, and I don't like anything too short. I think this one has the ideal length for me and my height and it feels like long enough, like a blazer, but with that trench coat uh, design, uh, which is super elegant, very uh, French. Can you see me or am I completely out of the screen? Okay, a little bit uh, better right now. So next up, what do I have here? The oversized cotton jumper. I love a cotton jumper. I think I've mentioned it again in my channel that when it comes to fabrics, materials, I will always choose cotton, linen, wool, you know, beautiful fabrics for the skin, super, super uh, breathable, that I feel that they last uh, longer. Uh, so this uh, piece is perfect for transitioning uh, between uh, seasons. You can wear it as a jumper and if you want you can just throw it as a the perfect layering piece uh, in your wardrobe. Now this uh, next item I really uh, I loved it. Uh, I have a similar style but in a black color from Cos and is the uh, the leather detailed straw bag. I love a straw bag for spring, summer and for these early days, weeks of autumn. I think it's beautiful if the weather, you know, is, uh, is good and it's not raining. I love the straw detailing but I think if your bag has that little leather detail, it just elevates uh, the bag um, and whatever you choose to put uh, together instantly. This bag is quite spacious. Uh, the handle looks comfortable. It doesn't have a zipper. It has a little tie detail and a little pocket inside with a zipper for your um, essentials. It's above the 100 price point, which I feel is a little bit expensive, but at the same time, uh, size-wise, it's, it's quite big. So I guess uh, the price is justified a little bit uh, there. Okay, the next item comes to no surprise. It's a surprise. I love shirts. I think it's one of the most comfortable things that you can uh, wear. And I tend to wear mine like this. Uh, I like the fluidity that a shirt uh, gives me uh, and I love them to be in cotton, of course. So this next one that I've selected uh, for you is the relaxed cotton one. Uh, I love the stripes, but I also love one color uh, shirts um, as well. And when I look at shirts, I mean, I love also browsing the men's collection because I like the cut and the fit. Uh, but when I'm choosing from the women's uh, collection, yeah, I like uh, something that says, you know, relaxed or oversized, just to give that extra coolness in, in the design, if you know what I mean. So next up, I really like the, these uh, shoes. There are two options for um, shoes. I didn't know which one to choose. I think I will include uh, both. Uh, so first we have the leather ballerinas in this uh, beautiful, soft leather. Uh, ballerinas are, are trending so much uh, this uh, season but I've always had pairs of ballerinas in my closet because I just found find them very easy to wear and of course style with whatever I have in my wardrobe uh, so we have the, the simple ballerinas and then we have the leather Mary Janes for a more you know French kind of vibe there and that little strap um, detail is chef's kiss and I like that the strap um, in uh, Arquette is very very uh, thin I find it a little bit you know more elegant than 
a thicker strap. So I have to say that I was quite impressed with the leather bag options that Arquette uh, has. Uh, the bags are very simple, very clean cut in the colors that you want to have in your wardrobe. Uh, and I like this one in particular because it has two options, the short little strap where you can carry it like that or around your wrist. And then of course you have uh, the longer uh, strap that you have it as a crossbody with your hands completely free to just go on um, about your day. Uh, the designs of the bags remind me some styles from Fluttered, uh, which is um, another brand that I like, but here the price point is significantly uh, lower, so we like that, no? Another sip of coffee. Mm. I really like this uh, coffee. Uh, lately I've been making filter coffee and I got uh, my favorite one from Grace, the hazelnut. Mm, it's delicious. Uh, first thing in the morning I make the coffee and the whole flat just smells of coffee married up with all these uh, wonderful hazelnut notes. It's, it's so dreamy. Uh, voila. At the moment my Greek coffee has finished so I've asked Kay to just buy some from uh, Coffee Island so that's why I'm uh, having my hazelnut um, filter coffee in the morning and in the afternoons as well. So having finished with my Arquette uh, capsule wardrobe uh, staple uh, pieces uh, next up I have this oversized wool twill uh, black blazer uh, it has just one big button there so it's single breasted um, I love a blazer like that I have the similar version of it from Coast because it is a very very thin very lightweight and the moment you just throw it on your body it's just so light you know there is a movement it's not like a very structured and heavy blazer and I really really uh, like it so you have you, your, your, your pair of blue jeans, a white tee, the crew neck that we were discussing earlier on. If you want, you can put a black leather belt, your ballerinas or Mary Janes, and you just throw your blazer, grab your bag, a little bit of lipstick, your favorite fragrance, and off you go. I love, uh, I love this effortless, chic, and super, super simple uh, style. So next up, I've selected a dress. I really liked the detail here and the color is the midi pleat dress. So first of all, I love the length. Very, very flattering, I think. And if you're short like me, I'm 160. Um, this is something between a midi and a long dress, if you know what I mean. So I like the pleat detail. Love, 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 absolutely love a white off white um dress for spring and summer because i think it's just so clean fresh and elegant and of course effortless and i love the slight v-neck detail that it has there so the v is not that deep so it's perfect you know to wear this oh this one actually is a little bit long but if you have like a shorter little necklace or just chain or a chain with a pendant, whatever, you just wear it and you have a beautiful little detail there. Um, and I love also that the dress is not sleeveless, but it has, you know, just almost like a calf sleeve. So it covers this area a little bit, but still the sleeve is uh, quite uh, short for, you know, for your um, arms to, to breathe and move freely. And the next dress that I have selected from um, the collection I was uh, browsing is slightly a more relaxed and comfortable uh, vibe uh, there. So we have the long shirt dress. I think a shirt dress is maybe an overlooked staple in someone's wardrobe because it's like um, you just throw it on, you style it up a little bit, with, you know, with the bag that you're gonna wear or maybe a hat or sandals and you look so put together with just minimum um, effort. So again, here I love the length um, and I like the striped detail. There is another um, shirt dress option, which I didn't choose for this video, is the oversized one. So you can look it up and just compare the two. So the reason why I selected the long is I feel that 
compared to the oversized is a little bit more elegant it is a shared dress it is long but it's not you know too poofy the other one the oversized one was too poofy it was completely uh shapeless and i love a bit of shapeless clothes depending you know on the mood on how i feel how my body uh, feels but i don't want it to be completely shapeless so i found the other one too poofy too big a little bit too much it's like a little blanket and i mean i don't want to wear a blanket i want to wear something comfortable and spacious but there needs to be a fine balance uh, there so next up i always when i do um uh little holes like this where i discuss the items if uh, there is um, a swimsuit in the collection i'm gonna choose it for sure and i do love um uh one piece i mean i used to wear bikinis when i was younger but no more now i like the elegance and the comfort that the simple one piece swimsuit has uh, to offer i like the little rush detail um there is it called rushed or rushed i'm not quite uh, sure um very well priced and what i like in um these one piece suits is that you can wear it with let's say a pair of shorts or a pair of linen trousers or a long skirt or with just a shirt on top and it works like a piece of clothing not just a swimsuit uh, but i think the important thing here to say is that if you are wearing it and you are swimming i think it's good to change your swimsuits and don't stay with um, a wet swimsuit for too long yeah two more uh items i have in my um a selection and the, they are both accessories because one thing about me is that I love accessorizing my looks and I feel that accessories play a super super important role in your wardrobe equal to the one that your clothes and your shoes uh, play so I love a little cap and when I saw the linen version that they have mm, I was uh, sold I like uh, the fabric, this fabric for, you know, warmer months, uh, for sunny uh, days that we don't get many here in London, but that's a completely different uh, story. Uh, so linen cap, lighter color, beautiful, uh, really, really liked it. And the last um, uh, item that I've selected is the printed silk scarf in black and it's like off-white that one i really really like it i feel that um the size is so beautiful so once you tie it around your neck there's plenty of uh fabric and it's giving me so totem uh vibes you know the really simple silk scarves that totem uh, has uh, but at a fraction of uh, the price I'm a lover of silk uh, scarves. The other day I went uh, I went to Harrods and I was just uh, browsing. Um, I went to two brands, um, Longchamp, which I absolutely love, and Hermes. I love Hermes uh, scarves as well, but I mean, price-wise, uh, we are here and there. Yeah, there's a big uh, difference, but I just wanted to, uh, to see the sizes that they have, the colors, and of course, just check the price uh, points. And then I saw this one, the... Uh, the two color one uh, from our cat um, I'm really really tempted uh, because before I really wanted to get the the totem one but we didn't have it at Harrods the only silk pieces that we've had and I believe we might still have are the the two piece silk uh, set uh, silk pants and silk shirt beautiful like very relaxed and um, vibe it's it's beautiful i really like uh, this kind of vibe so voila that was my arquette roundup little haul with uh, 15 items that um, i think are beautiful uh pieces uh to consider for your capsule wardrobe as i said at the beginning of uh, the video if any of you are arquette lovers um please let me know what you think of uh, the designs the, the items that I've mentioned in this uh, video and the quality of our cat and is it good value for uh, money as I said I do find some of their pieces to be a little bit higher a higher price point than 
uh, the cost species that I'm used to and I uh, regularly uh, buy. Yeah, I might do a little uh, haul, uh, food for thought uh, there. As always, guys, thank you so much for tuning in, keeping me in company. I hope I kept uh, good company uh, to you. And thank you for watching my latest um, videos. Your support means the world uh, to me. I really mean it. Uh, have a lovely day and I'll see you in my next one.